Hi everyone. Today we are going to look at comparing two independent samples, so comparing the means for them, and also using ANOVA and the post hoc comparisons. So to do the two sample test, we're going to go to Analyze, Compare Means, and Independent Samples t-test. And if you notice, this is the same data set that we've been working with in all the videos. For the test variable or variables, that is going to be the quantitative data that we want to find the averages of. So I'm going to use the math scores again. The grouping variable is the categorical data that's going to split our data into the two samples that we're going to test. So it has to be something that only has two options. So I'm going to go up to gender and move that over. The define groups button has now um, been made clickable. I'm going to click that. And here is where I'm going to input what the two categories are for my gender. So my gender is split between female and male. So whatever, um, you know, if it's a zero and a one, if it's low and high, whatever the um, two options are is what you're going to put in here. Then I'm going to go to options. And here you can set your confidence interval. So if you want 99%, 90%, you know, you can change it here. The default is 95, and I'm going to leave it at 95. And then I click OK. And then here comes my um, output. So I've got the standard type of um, descriptive statistics here. So I've got the number of females, the number of males, the average for the females, the average for the males, the standard deviations, and the standard error of the means. Down here is the independent samples test. So we have the first group is equal variances assumed, which they're pretty close to it. And then it also has equal variances not assumed. And if you notice, the values actually aren't that different because, like I said, this, the um, variances are pretty similar. So we're going to ignore this Levine's test for equality of variances. If you read further into the chapter, um, you'll come across it, but we'll ignore it for now. So what it gives us here is the test statistic, negative 0.41, the degrees of freedom, so in the equal variances case, it is n minus 2, and n is 200, so 198. Here it gives the significance or the p-value for the two-tailed test, and again, this is associated with the 95% confidence interval. It gives the mean difference, so the difference of the means from up here, negative 0.55. Since I typed in female first in that um, defined groups, it's going to do the average for the females minus the average for the males. So whichever one I typed in first is going to be um, the first one here. Here's the standard error for the difference. And here is the confidence interval. So again, we chose the 95%. So it's saying the difference is somewhere between negative 3.18 and 2.08. And since the significance the p-value is pretty high, and the confidence interval includes zero, we cannot determine that the average is actually different. And if you look, they are pretty close. So that's how you use the um, independent samples t-test. The next thing we're going to look at is ANOVA. What if I want to compare more than two items? So unfortunately, if I want the post hoc comparisons, I do need to go to File, New, Syntax. So I need to use the Syntax Editor if I want the post hoc comparisons. If I just want the ANOVA without the post hoc, I could go to Analyze, Compare Means, One Way ANOVA, and I could fill this in. Um, but I do want the post hoc comparisons, so I need to do this in text. And again, if you're confused on what to write in here, you can always go to the manual and then just, um, you know, control F post hoc and it will show you what to do if you want to use the post hoc comparisons. Um, but we've got them down here. So we're going to start with one way, right? That is what the um, ANOVA is for, is for one way comparisons. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write my dependent variable, which is my quantitative data. So again, the 
um, thing I'm going to be taking the averages of, so math, by my categorical data. So I want something that's not just two variables, so I'm going to do my um, race, because I have four different races. So I'm going to be comparing the math score across the four races to determine if there's a difference between them. Then I wanted to do slash statistics equals descriptives because I want the um, descriptive statistics along with it. I want the mean, I want the standard deviation, etc. And then the part that I'm really interested in in doing the syntax is the post hoc comparisons. There are a couple different types we could do. We could do the least squares, which is the LSD. We could also do bone ferroni. And I could just do a space between them if I wanted to do both. They're going to be pretty similar, so I'm just going to do the least squares. But I could do both if I wanted. Okay, so again, it's the quantitative data here, the math scores, by the categorical data, the race. Slash statistics equals descriptives. Slash post hoc equals whichever type of post hoc comparison you want to do. And again, it starts with one Y. I'm going to do run all, scroll down, here it gives the descriptives, so it's got the means for each race, the number for each race, standard deviation, standard error, 95% confidence interval, the minimums and the maximums. Here it gives me the information for ANOVA that I would need, it gives me the sum of the squares between the groups, the sum of the squares within the groups degrees of freedom, the mean square values, the F statistics, the F statistic, and the significance, again, the p-value. So since the p-value is very low, right, it's less than 0 0.0001, that means that there is a difference between some of the averages, right? And if you look at the averages, there is a fair difference between them. If you look at the smallest one, you got 46.75, the largest is 57.27. It's a difference of more than, uh, of almost 11, so it makes sense that the significance here is low. So this is what would come up if you were just using the ANOVA um, guy over here. So if I want to analyze, compare, one-way ANOVA, this is what I would get. Using the post hoc part of it in the syntax editor, I get the following table. Here is the difference of the um, of the means. So the African American average minus the Asian average is negative 10.52. Standard error, significance, which is what we're really interested in, and then again the 95% confidence interval. So here, wherever the significance is small, that means those two races have a difference in the means. If you see a large significance, say here, 0.805, that corresponds to Hispanic and African American, that's saying that we cannot say that, that there, we cannot say that there is a difference. So if you look to Hispanic, 47.42, African American, 46.75, those are fairly close. But if you look at one that has a small significance, say 0.001, that's between white and African American. That means there is a difference. There's 53.97 versus 46.75. So there is a difference between those two. And again, um, you just look for the smaller ones means there is a difference. The larger means that there isn't a difference. And they should be symmetrical. If the Hispanic and white is 0 0.001, then the white and Hispanic should also be 0 0.001. So you're going to get double each of these. There's a 0 0.805 and a 0 0.805. That's because it's comparing African American to Hispanic and then Hispanic to African American. Okay, so this is how you would use the post hoc comparisons. And again, to figure out which of the ones is there a difference between. So the ANOVA just says that they're not all equal. And the post hoc comparison says which ones are not equal. So play around with it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And have fun with it.